Will we ever see the KHL be represented in the EA NHL series? It's a question that has been asked year after year after year, and in a way, we finally have an answer to that long-standing question. While the entire league has not been added, a KHL team has in fact been added into NHL 18. You may have noticed that the Champions Hockey League tab has been converted over to the Tournaments tab, and that is because of the addition of the Spengler Cup Tournament, which features six teams, HC Davos, Mountfield HK, Team Canada, HPK from Liga, Switzerland, and Dynamo Riga. For those who don't know, now you know, Dynamo Riga is in fact a KHL team. It's happened. In a way, it has happened. Dynamo Riga is in the game. Now, as I mentioned, this isn't the entire league being added, but it's a small step in a way. Obviously, this was you know, possible thanks to EA having the rights to add the Spengler Cup into the game itself. But it's still a little bit surreal to see an active KHL team be in NHL 18. The roster is fairly accurate from what I can tell. It features some notable names, you know, some former NHLers like Brendan McMillan, Danny Cristo was a longtime AHLer mainly with the Rangers organization. Uh, Nikolai Sheridev, another familiar name that you might recognize, Sharks fans would recognize. Nikita Zhevpalovs, Colton Gillies is here as well. And Stanislav Chistov. Yes, that Stanislav Chistov. Unfortunately, he does not have an image in the game. But it's a little bit weird. Sharks fans would also recognize Montes Armelis. Say what you want. I, I, I don't, hey, live your life. That's a gorgeous man, and you need to be able to admit that, and comfortably admit that. But again, it's so surreal to see this team in the game. And I'm just gonna quickly, you know, sim through this tournament. I mean, we only have a matchup against Sweden, uh, Switzerland, apparently. Sweden, Switzerland, obviously. Uh, so I, I am not sure how this tournament works. I've heard of the Spengler Cup. But I have no idea how this works. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Now, unfortunately, you can't, you know, customize anything much like with the Champions Hockey League. Because of the licensing, the tournament is not customizable. Although I still say one thing that I'd really love to see added in the NHL. No, I'm not saying I'd like to see it added in over gameplay updates or changes. Calm down. But at some point, it would be nice to be able to run a custom tournament in the style of the Champions Hockey League. Obviously, it's very similar, you know, just to a normal group stage tournament to begin with. And that would be, uh, at least for me, fun to be able to sim through. As Carl Stellari gets a goal for us, we're tied up at one, and there it goes. It falls apart. Wick gets his second goal of the game. Simon Moser makes it 3-1, and it didn't get much better for us in the third period. I didn't know Cody Almond was uh, of Swiss nationality. Apparently he is. We lost. Are we out of the tournament? Just like that, I'm pretty sure we are, which is tremendous. Although, don't we have to play HPK at some point? The Spengler Cup playoffs had the first place team in both divisions receiving a bye, while second and third place play one another. Well, there you go. There you go. Now you know. Now I know. We play HBK. We play them today. Let's see if we can continue on in this tournament and find some success with the KHL team in NHL 18. Dynamo Riga. Maybe, maybe not the KHL team a lot of people wanted to see in the game. We are up 1-0 at the end of the first period. It's now 3-2, though. They battled back in a big-time way. Third period. And we are out, <laughs> just like that. Two losses with Dynamo Riga, and we are out of the Spengler Cup, just like that. We might as well just sim forward to see who wins. Like I mentioned, this isn't the biggest change in the world. The entire KHL hasn't been added. We're still in it, apparently. I don't understand how this works, clearly. I figured since it was second and third place team that we lost. No, we're still in it. This game mode is the gift that keeps on giving. 
Whenever you think you're out, you get to keep fighting. We're playing Mountfield. We're going to lose again, but that's okay. That is okay. I mean, we're not SKA St. Petersburg. We can't be expected to win here. We'll sim the first period. We're up 2-0. Sherdev and Pavlovs with the goals. Second period, it's 3-1. Redless, these names. Third period, and oh my god, Colton Gillies with the goal. Don't look now. Dynamo Riga have won a game, which means now all of a sudden we'll actually be eliminated, right? Uh, the current round of the playoffs is over. Sure, let's, let's stop simming. Am I in? Not for long. I gotta play Switzerland again. Sweet. Let's see how well this goes. The correct answer is uh, not well, as you're about to see. First period, we're down to nothing. Surrey and Damian Brunner. Great. Second period, it gets worse. And in the third period, it stays the same. 3 nothing shutout for Switzerland. And I think now, mercifully, our Spengler Cup journey has come to an end. Yes, it has. Switzerland wins the tournament over Team Canada, I would imagine. But there you go. Let's take a look. Switzerland undefeated all the way through. They beat Canada 3-0 in the final. How do you like that? Actually, let's take a look at both uh, Team Switzerland and Team Canada. Because I want to see who represents them. So forwards, Reto Suri, Damian Bruner, Julian Walker, Morris... Troshler, 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 Cody Almond, Fabrice Herzog, Roman Wick, Lino Martin, nope, I'm not doing that, Simon Moser, Kevin Romney, Julian Sprunger, and Dennis Hollenstein. On defense, Rafael Diaz, Patrick Gearing, Gearing, who knows, Robin Grossman, some guy named Fuhrer, Eric Blum, and Joel Ganazzi. The goalie was Jonas Hiller, but Team Canada was Justin Peters, which... Would have been cool. I mean, he's he's on a different team in the KHL, but it would have been cool to see someone like Ben Scrivens back in the game. Maxime Nero, Daniel Vukovic. I, I've never heard of you. I have never heard of you. Uh, Brandon Gormley, Blake Parlett, Mark Katich, and Alex Picard on defense. I can see now why Team Canada lost. Led by Nick Spalling, Dustin Jeffrey, Christian Thomas, Mason Raymond. You're not a real person with a real last name. That's no, no. You are, you are a myth. You are not real. Rene Bork, Derek Roy, among others. I thought, uh, I thought they'd send a stronger contingency. They did not. Anyway, that brings to a close this quick little video. Like I said, I just wanted to go through this game mode, and it is pretty cool, one way or another, at least to me, to see a KHL team in NHL 18. Is this a sign of things to come? No. No, it isn't. 